This is Take Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. This week, build it and they will come. So what's needed to construct an epic film? High stakes events are good, extraordinary characters a must, complex and nuanced situations help, add some A-list actors and a world-class director and you're pretty much there. And such is what we have with Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, based on Burden Sherwin's 05 biography. Saying that Oppenheimer was complex is true enough, but what's examined here is his intersection with complex events. Innovation from military necessity goes back to the catapult, and when there appeared the potential for a game-changing device from what had been the mostly theoretical sphere of particle physics, those in this field were suddenly in the limelight in an existential race not to be second to develop it. And this race was occurring against a backdrop of competing visions for societal organization, capitalism versus communism, which precipitated a paranoid and delusional response from every part of the American power structure. It's onto the shoulders of Killian Murphy that playing Oppie, as he was called, falls. Oppie the physicist, the family man, the womanizer, the politician, and Oppie the potential destroyer of worlds. And he soars in this role of a lifetime with support from Downey Jr., Damon, Pugh, and Blunt. Moviegoers aren't unfamiliar with existential stakes, except that of late we've cordoned them off in the metaphorical, a la the Marvelverse. Oppenheimer hits home because really it's all of us, here and now, who are characters in it. As is noted in the film, we're still near the dawn of the era Oppie helped create. Looking at who's in control of nuclear arsenals these days makes optimism a hard sell. And if things go wrong, there won't be any sequels. This has been Take Two Movie Review. I'm Mike Friend. Catch up with us at Take2MovieReview.com and feed us back on our channel on YouTube.